Mouse Detective. This is actually one of the first Disney films I ever saw in theaters. And when you're a little kid watching the magic of Disney on the big screen, this is exactly what you want to open up with. After that, the movie is actually much more tame, at least not quite as creepy. The movie is about a little girl trying to get her father back. She comes across a mouse named Dawson, and they both come across a mouse named Basil of Baker Street, who's the rodent equivalent of Sherlock Holmes. In fact, he actually lives in Sherlock Holmes' house. They're off to not only find the little girl's father, but also stop an evil villain named Ratigan, played by Vincent Price. His plan is to have her father make a robotic queen so that he can replace her at some sort of ceremony where the robotic queen would then name him the ruler of the land. I don't know, it's for kids. Mice are running around, they can talk, he can get away with this shit, I guess. And anyway, that's not the focus of the movie. The focus of the movie is actually what it should be, the hero and the villain. The hero in this movie is great. He's this egotistical but still very likable character. He's energized, he's kooky, he's tenacious, he's a jerk sometimes, but he's got a good heart. It's all that great stuff you love in a hero. And on top of that, he's smart as hell. It's actually one of those few Disney films where you admire how intelligent the main character is. I mean, from beginning to end, you actually want to be smarter watching him. And then, of course, there's the villain, voiced by Vincent Price. What more do I have to say? It's Vincent Price, and he is loving every minute of it. He's egotistical, he's selfish, he sings, he prances around, he giggles. He just enjoys being nasty so much that it's hard not to enjoy it along with him. The two play off each other brilliantly. It's just these two gigantic, brilliant egos working off of one another. I usually find that with a celebrity voice, even the really good ones, you can often sort of feel them in the recording booth. Like, yeah, they're acting, but you know they're acting. You can see them saying their lines into the microphone. With Vincent Price, I never got that. He's just right there, in the role. It's Radigan. Watch this movie again and tell me if you can really disconnect the recording of Vincent Price with the animation of the character. They're just flawless. Oh, by the way, Basil, I just love your disguise. <laughs> One would hardly recognize you. <laughs> they meld together perfectly. And while we're on the subject of the animation, that's pretty good, too. I think this is actually the first time they started using computer graphics in an animated movie. And speaking of that, it makes for a great climax. There's a giant fight scene in the clock tower, and it's among one of Disney's best. The angles are great, the music builds, the pacing is wonderful, and we see Radigan finally show his true colors. In fact, it gets pretty violent. I mean, there's no blood or anything, but there might as well be. The sound effects and everything really make it look like it hurts. <laughs> But hey, when you're a little kid, that just sucked you in even more. The Great Mouse Detective is really smart, really delightful, and really fun. It is sort of your typical little mouse adventure where they just look at the big world and sort of create their own little world and you laugh and giggle at it. But like I said, what sets it apart from the other ones is the main character and the main villain. They're just a ton of fun to watch. I think it's one that often sneaks under the radar for most Disney fans, but it's definitely worth checking out. Find it on DVD and discover for yourself. Thank <laughs> you.